Oh shit, here we go again. Remember last year, I started over in GTA Online. I wanted to immerse myself into the burning cesspool of degeneracy that is called Los Santos. Truly experience it as a level 1 newbie. But let's be honest, between you and me, that shit flew out of the window after the first episode. I mean, it was gonna be about starting over and most of all, experiencing GTA Online as a newbie. How could I possibly show you, the viewer, a veteran who sank millions, trillions, maybe even hundreds of hours into GTA Online, what it's like to start over, and how could I possibly connect with you, the guy or girl who just came into GTA Online because it's free on the Epic Game Store? The answer is simple. I couldn't show anyone jack shit about none of that. But they can. The plan! I'll join a random lobby undercover as a level 1 newbie. I will mingle with the rest and observe what these epic games Fortnite pros are doing and for once and for all answer the burning question What the flying fuck is it like to play GTA Online for the first time? Let's begin this chicken parma sandwich. Subject number 1 I feel a common theme we are going to see with these level 1s is this. They interact with the world in a way that makes sense to them. The game is called Grand Theft Auto. What you do? You Grand Theft an Auto for starters. They drive around for a bit, they see a bunch of shite on the minimap and well, they have fun exploring. And the exploration of this individual has led her to the clothing store. Exciting. Now we can't possibly play this game without subjecting these newcomers to the things we have all been subjected to in the past. So time for a tiny troll, a classic one I might say. Oh, the joy, until a modder decided to screw around. What the fuck was that? Fucking normies! <laughs> But I decided to tail this girl for a while after she got released from my vicious trap. And there we go. Just as I expected, she is grasping the very core of Grand Theft Auto in her perception by stealing a wheelie automobile and off we went. But a modder struck again. This made me think, is this legit? How new players are experiencing this game? Are they really being subjected to this sort of shit as low levels while they are still trying to figure out what is what and who is who? Well, I guess so. Clap, clap, nice first impression you are giving the newcomers Rockstar Games. Regardless, we move on. We found a bike and of course she wants to rob a store. And that made me think, that actually makes a ton of sense. Cause GTA is known for being a crime simulator, so naturally the new player tries to steal fancy cars they try and buy guns to try and rob a store. So it set, so it happened. She went inside, I fucked around with the bike again, we got out and off we went. An epic chase, sirens screaming in the background, cops on the megaphone and suddenly, a crash. And unfortunately, this was the end of our adventure as her head laid cracked on the sidewalk. A tear rolled down my face. Subject number two, an interesting sight. So the Epic Games boys got a free million bucks to spend on whatever they so well please. And when I was cruising around, I noticed this purple individual investing money in a business, which indeed seems quite sensible. He might have looked up a money guy before spending his money to really set him up for making a ton of money so he could level up and all that shit. But in comes a newbie cargo griefer. Now what happens next is tragic, but also highly interesting. So after killing the newbie grinder, the newbie cargo griefer is unsure what to do. He tries so hard to destroy the truck, but he does not have a single explosive on him to actually finish the job. So he is shooting the truck with a bullpup rifle, with a shotgun, try as he may, to try and make it explode. Now I couldn't stand the sight of this anymore, so I decided to step in with nothing but a bunch of free fucking pistols. The newbie grinder gets away, but the cargo griefer is dead set on destroying him, stopping him in his tracks but seeing this all unfold made me wonder is this what GTA Online was gonna be if Rockstar never added the mock to Oppressor and all the other crazy bullshit yes here we see the game at its very basics without the crazy OP stuff and while it's actually way harder to grief people it's still possible and still very annoying for the poor grinder now the grinder wasn't having any of my help either and frankly I don't blame him he just wants to get shit done and here I I am and here the griefer is circling around him like a bunch of vultures one trying to help one trying to destroy so in the crossfire I got killed a bunch of times as well and in the end the newbie cargo griefer succeeded 
This was one of the first experiences this grinder had in the game. He was marked for death by Rockstar as he was trying to do the mission. And at the end of the day, you can't really blame the newbie Kago Griefer either, because all he gets is a message popping up on screen to destroy the truck. Regardless, all of this is just truly tragic. Subject 2.5. After the cargo was destroyed, I decided to contest the cargo griefer. Not to be an asshole, but to see how he would react if someone were to counter him. So I got myself some cheap and free guns to be able to fight myself off, and so it began. Now, he was semi-skilled, as expected from a bunch of people who are used to playing Fortnite 24-7. But in the end, he was no match for Epic Roblox Master. It ended up in getting me accused of hacking and then, well, the rest is history. Subject 3. We've learned a lot, but now it's time to apply it. So for the final experiment, I need to truly immerse myself into newbie status. So what I've learned? New players want to explore, new players like to steal cars, and new players also like to see the world burn by trying to destroy everything on the minimap. Now with that mindset, I went into Los Santos, but of course, not even five minutes in, the first oppressor bomb boy showed up who tried to fuck me over, and with one clean shot, he got me. But the game is on. Because this oppressor boy does not realize he is dealing with a 12 year old Fortnite pro. So I got my kill back. He respawned, oh, he leaped off the no. building like a gazelle, and I blocked him again. And lastly, a glorious shot right on the kisser. Now I figured that he would do one of two things. He would either accept his loss and let me carry on with my day, or he would become butthurt as fuck and pull out everything he can to destroy me, the level 2. Might I quickly add, this guy is level 202. And of course, this is GTA Online, so now we have a butthurt guy on the Mark II Oppressor chasing me down. But not on my watch, dear viewer. I am underground, so he could either rush in or wait around for me to come out. Now he's pretty pissed off at this point, so of course, he wants to get up on score. A boom headshot. Now send that damn Mark II Oppressor to the depths of hell and it's time for a strategic retreat. But of course, he is still fuming and if you listen closely, you can hear him scream. Oh boy, the chase is on again. Let me just quickly, yeah, there we go. And boom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get back in my role. Let's see if asking stop him right to stop will do the stop. trick. Nope. I guess picking the name Epic's Roblox Master was indeed a mistake. All right, time to get a bike and see if we can get away. But there he was again on his oppressor. Let's just get rid of that one as well then. And at this point, he was confident I was a martyr and I just told him to stop harassing me. But of course, he wouldn't stop and there he was again. He was absolutely desperate to finish the job, but nothing that a quick sticky bomb can't fix. After that, he got me again. And in the end, half the lobby tried helping me out. Me, the poor level two. It was truly a nice moment where you could see the world come together to try and end the griefing problem in GTA Online. It's a nice moment to see how people embrace the newcomers. Is there actually hope for GTA Online? Dear viewers, I, I, I truly believe that moments like this do show that there is a light burning at the end of this long, dark tunnel. But then I opened my email and found this clip emailed to me by Housecat. Yeah, GTA Online is fucked.